Hi there, everyone. It's Tracy Bowman, Bowman for Art on Facebook, T.A. Bowman Studios. So I got a request today um, on Facebook. Somebody was asking about mixing pigments. Um, they were asking about Blue Diamond and TLP. I don't use Blue Diamond yet. Um, I don't know if I have to just yet. Um, there's so many different kinds of paints. I mean, do you have to have them all? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. But um, I do have um, Color Arts Primary Elements. And I do have TLP. And I have um, something I like to use uh, by Prism Pour. It's called Chantilly Lace. So any color I have that I need to have a little bling in it um, to make it sparkly, I use Prism Pour Chantilly Lace. So I'm going to show you what I do with all of that, okay? So let me get you down to where I have things set up, and uh, we'll get mixing. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start with... Uh, the Color Art Twisted Lemon, which I am in love with this color. It is so pretty. But to start, I, um, I want to show you that I make up my own medium. And this is for um, blooms, swipes, um, um, pores. Um, and there I do have a video on it. So uh, look up uh, my recipe video and you can see I put it in, I mix it up and I put it in dispenser bottles. So it's just easy for me to mix everything up when I'm ready. So <clears throat> let me get a stick here. I will put a link to the recipe video we'll in the out. description. <clears throat> so um, to use pigments, you have to disperse the pigment to make it liquid so it will mix with your medium. So I take a little of my, um, my polyacrylic, I also put in a dispenser bottle so it's available for me to use when I need it. Okay, these can be very dusty, so be careful when using them. That's good enough for now. Cover that up. So we're going to mix that up. I want to make sure we get it all wet. Where are we? <laughs> and when you can see that it is all really liquid, you don't see any little particles that haven't dissolved yet, you can add the medium. Mix that up well. Now I find when you um, mix up your colors, especially when they have a lot of bling in them like these, <clears throat> or even a lot of the metallics, once they sit, see this is perfect. <clears throat> It leaves, it leaves a trace and disappears right away. It becomes flat. So that is just, just perfect. Maybe we can come over closer to the light and you can see. Making sure you can see well. So it will mound and dissipate quickly and flows really nicely off the stick. So, and that's that's it. But, oh, so what I was gonna say, once they sit for a bit, 
so you know a day or so all of the bling sinks to the bottom so you've got to really scrape up the bottom and mix it up well again so you have all of your bling really well dispersed okay so i mix it up in these little to, uh, dispenser cups and then i write on them what they are so i always know what i'm using so when you ask i can tell you <laughs> and and that's that so that was the color art. Now we'll mix up some TLP. And again, just put a little of my polyacrylic. These are even finer. They can be very dusty. That was a good scoop, so that's enough. So we're going to let that disperse, get it all wet so it melts in. This is a very pretty color. This is Ore by TLP. P or O R E. It's it's a really nice gold. Very, very nice. Make sure I'm scraping the edges. Okay, so it's all pretty much liquid, you can see. So now I'll add my medium. Mix that up well. Again, I'm scraping my sides. And there's a little groove in here too. I like to make sure I get in that groove. And we are perfect again. There we go. There is that one. And again, I have my top written on here. <clears throat> and then there's that's all good so <clears throat> another thing I like to do is I like to mix I want to make some yellow flowers I'm not going to do it right now but I know that I want to and I bought this yellow and yellows have a tendency to be very transparent so I got this um, yellow and I'm thinking that it will be will be good as you can see right there so I'm gonna mix up a little of this in there, the Sunburst by Color Art, to, to give it a little extra bling. So I'm going to disperse a little of the Color Art first. And you can see how fun that color is. I've used it before, which I really like it. And I like it in the yellow. I haven't used this yellow. This is a new yellow for me. So we're going to dissolve that. Let me put my medium. And this is a, a thick, heavier body paint. So let's see how we do here. Don't need a lot. I know it's a heavy body paint. <clears throat> Let's see if we need to add more medium to that. It's a heavy body, all right. It's thicker. And now I'm going to need more medium and polyacrylic, I think, in there. So I'll start with a little more medium. I'm 
sure I'll need to add some polyacrylic to it. So there's some artists that say they don't measure, they don't measure, they don't measure. I do measure out my medium, um, but I understand why, because every paint is different. And you would have to adjust according to the type of paint you're using. getting there. We still need to be, it's a little too moundy still, but just add a little at a time so you get to the right consistency. But I think this yellow is going to work out nicely for my flowers. I sold a nice four pair paintings yesterday. So in the yellow daisy-like flowers, so I gotta uh, make some more. They were definitely a favorite of mine. I was considering putting them in my house and not selling them. <laughs> All right, so now that's perfect. And that just gives that a little extra bling. I know you probably can't see it in there, but there is some bling in there, so, but that's perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, and I'll put a cover on that with a proper label. And so now there's another fun thing I like to do that I thought I would share with you while we're mixing, is um, uh, I love, um, I have lots of different paints that aren't, you know, the sparkly uh, pigments, but um, I like the sparkle. So two things I use, or I have used, I've used a Liquitex Iridescent Medium, which is awesome. It brings a lot of bling to your paints that don't have it necessarily. But one of my favorites also is this Prism Pour. And it gives lots of bling and it's called Chantilly Lace and I add it to my paints often. So it is really fun. So now I've got some uh, Quinacridone Blue Violet. It's also a thick body paint, so we don't need a lot. <clears throat> And we'll add our Chantilly Lace. And I'm generous with it because I, I like the bling. <laughs> it does soften out the color a little bit. I don't know if you can see how blingy that is. I'll add a little more medium first. Maybe a little more Chantilly, too. Mixologist. <laughs> I feel like a mixologist. <laughs> Ooh, that is blingy. Can we see that? Can we see how blingy that is? Looks lovely. We're just about there. I'm just going to give it a little 
bit more of the varnish. And there we go. There we go. And that's perfect. And I'll put a cover on that. <clears throat> so let's see, what else can we mix up here that will give you some diversity so you know. <clears throat> All right, why don't I mix up some, well, this is one of my favorites. This is Deco Art Metallics Rich Espresso. And I love putting some of that in my um, leaves on my flower paintings. So that's a little bit different. You just use the straight medium. And I like to shake them because they can separate from time to time, especially if they're sitting around in the heat of the summer. Mix that up. And I give it a healthy squirt. And we mix it up. Now the Chantilly lace can be mixed up all by itself with medium as just uh, extra bling if you want to have that iridescence. Getting in that groove again. And that's perfect. Absolutely perfectly mixed. So some other paints, you know, aren't as thick is those two that I've used. <clears throat> Let's see if I can find something that would be a little bit less. I'm going to mix up some of this red oxide. It might go really nicely with my yellow flowers. So, again, all I would do is put my medium in. Give it a squirt. Put a lot of paint in there. Yeah, I did. Didn't need to put so much. So I really love mixing up my medium ahead of time and putting it in the dispenser bottles because it just makes making up my colors so much easier. And uh, I don't have to spend all that time mixing and mixing. I definitely put too much in here. <laughs> Ooh, but you know what I should do? Just give it some Chantilly lace. Let's bling it up. Bling it up, bling it up. Go. 
There we go. Just a pinch more. It's a good color for you to see how it mixes. That's perfect. Just a teeny bit more. Look at my cup is full. <laughs> Yep, there we go. She'd be perfect. She'd be perfect. Okay. Well, there we go. Yes, mixings of paints and pigments. <clears throat> I hope that was helpful. And I always write on my little cups. So I always know what is what. What is what? What is what? What is what? So this is liquid text. There we go. Thank you for watching. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to message me and I'll help as best I can. Okie doke. Thanks for now. Happy painting.